What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. I'm Katya. As you may know, I love making videos on synonyms because they are super useful, especially when taking an exam. And today we're going to learn 15 synonyms for a lot of. There are so many alternatives that I've decided to make two videos. Today we're going to learn 15 and then in the near future I'm going to make a second video with more. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off! So the first option on my list today is lots of. It's informal and it can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I've got lots of things to do. And one more example, he's got lots of money. The second alternative, a load of or loads of. The same, it's informal and can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. The first example, I have a lot of free time in summer. And one more example, he has loads of friends. The third possibility, a ton of or tons of. The same, informal, and can be used with both nouns. The first example, the video got a ton of views. And one more example, I don't like to wear tons of makeup. Number four, we can also say a pile of, or in plural, piles of. And now, two examples. The first one, I got rid of pile of clothes. And one more example, they received piles of complaints. Number five, a hoard of, or in plural, hordes of. The first example, it's just a hoard of junk. And one more example, she baked hordes of cookies. Let's move on to our option number six, a heap of or heaps of. The first example, there was a heap of coins on the table. And another example, you can stay at my place. I have heaps of room. Number seven, a mess of something or masses of something. The first example, we collected a huge mass of data. The second example, masses of leaves were lying on the ground. Number eight, a bunch of. It's informal and it's used with countable nouns. And now, two examples. The first one, I've got a bunch of classes today. And one more, I went out with a bunch of friends last night. Number nine, a whole lot of. It's informal and can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. The first example, he gave me a whole lot of excuses. And one more example, you need a whole lot of patience when dealing with her. Number 10, a whole host of. It's informal and is used with countable nouns. And now a few examples. The first one, I had to overcome a whole host of obstacles. And one more example, he likes a whole host of sports. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like my lessons and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my lessons. Thank you. And now let's continue. Number 11, plenty of. It can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. The first one, don't worry, we won't be late. We've got plenty of time. And one more example, there are plenty of parks in New York. Number 12, I love the way it sounds, a plethora of something. 
it's formal, so you can use it in your writing, for example, in your essay, and it can be used both with countable and uncountable nouns. In now let's look at two examples. The first one, we have to comply with a plethora of regulations. And one more, thanks for providing a plethora of information. Number 13, a good or a great deal of something. It's usually used with uncountable nouns. The first example, it takes a great deal of courage to overcome your fears. And one more example, you need a good deal of time and patience to make sushi. And two more synonyms. Number 14, a large amount of something. It's used with uncountable nouns. The first example, he borrowed a large amount of money. And one more example, you should drink a large amount of water. And last but not least, a large number of. Unlike the previous one, a large amount of, this one is only used with countable nouns. Two examples, the first one, a large number of people attended the concert. And the last example for today, a large number of students failed the exam. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make a second video as soon as possible. And of course, if you learned something new, it would be very inspiring and encouraging if you could like this lesson so that more people can find it. And don't forget to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!